Fuel savings for full-time RV living. Number one, get yourself the TSD card. Number two, don't drive like an asshole and just slow down a little bit. <laughs> okay, we have more tips than that. So if you're interested, stick around. We're gonna talk about some tips and discounts to save money at the pumps this year. Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Wait. Today, I wanted to talk to you about fuel savings for full-time RV living. I'm gonna break it down, 10 tips and discounts to save money at the pumps. Now, as you guys know, travel's getting pretty expensive these days, and you might be questioning the full-time RV life, or you may be even considering if you wanna go camping this summer. Well, we're gonna talk about 10 tips and ways that you can save a lot of money at the pumps so that this lifestyle is still possible. And I'll go ahead and give you a preview of our actual number one way to save money on fuel costs, and that is going to be the TSD card. We're gonna talk about that at the end of the video, break it down, how do you apply for it, how it works, how much money we've saved two years using the TSD card. So stick around till the end of the video because you don't wanna miss out on that. And let's go ahead and jump into this. Number 10, one of the best ways to save money, especially as a full-time RVer, is well, moving slower. And by moving slower, I don't mean driving slower, now we will get into that later, but I mean moving at a slower pace. As full-time RVers, if you're driving less, you're saving money, you're not on the road as much. We like to move a lot slower. We usually only move every three, four, five months at a time. We really like to explore the area, really get a good feel for it. We don't like to just move every three days, see the big sites and move on. We like to get a feel for the people, the food, the little trails, and all the things that there is in that area to do before we move on. And by driving less, well, we're just saving less money by not moving as much. And maybe that for you just means not traveling as far, exploring your own backyard this summer, maybe not taking trips as far out. There's a lot of stuff probably right in your own backyard that you haven't explored. I know we're in an area that we've camped at before three years ago, we've come back and there's still so many things we haven't done and so many things we haven't seen. And that brings us to number nine. Maybe you can get a second vehicle. Now it's not an option for everybody, but it's something we recently just purchased. When we first started full-time RVing, we had two vehicles. We sold the car for a while, we went out west, we only had the truck, the F450. Now we just purchased a second vehicle again. While on travel days, yes, we have to spend more on fuel because Megan has to follow me in the car, but we more than make up for it when we get to our location and our daily driver is now a fuel efficient car and it's not an F450 with a 4.88 gear ratio, which by the way, is a killer on fuel cost. So while there's some pros and cons to having two vehicles, if you're looking to save money and maybe you don't move as fast and you're moving a little bit of slower pace like we do and you stay a few months at a time, having a second vehicle that's really efficient on fuel as your daily driver saves us tons of money. When we were out west, we only had the truck, we had sold our previous car and driving the F450 around everywhere we went, our fuel costs got extremely, extremely high. So we happened to purchase this car just at the right time and we're definitely enjoying it. So for those of you with the class A, you probably already tow something behind that's pretty fuel efficient. But if you tow like we do with a fifth wheel and a big truck, it's kind of nice to have a second vehicle. And honestly, travel days aren't that bad. We don't all get to ride together, but hey, maybe that's sometimes a good thing. Shh. Okay, next up on our list at number eight. Drive slower, slow down. And we touched base on that at the beginning of the video, but seriously, slowing down will save you tons of money on fuel economy. In fact, fuel economy decreases on average about 14% when you're driving 70 miles per hour versus going 60 miles per hour. And as you can see on the graph, it keeps changing as you go slower and slower. There's no reason to drive fast. It's just not safe, especially when you're towing. You're decreasing your braking time, your awareness, and you're really not gonna even get to your destination any faster by doing that. And now we're gonna break down some ways to drive slower and why you should drive slower and some other driving tips here to save on fuel economy. 
So number seven, sticking with driving slower, a good way to do this is get off the interstates. If you can, stick to highway driving where the speed limit is usually going to be 50 or 55. That's going to force you to actually just drive slower right there. And you're going to save a lot of money on fuel economy versus driving on the interstates where you may be going 70 or 75 miles per hour. A lot of times when we do our trip planning, I actually try to find a lot of highways as much as I can just because I'm usually not in a rush, I get a better scenic view. I'm going to drive a little bit slower, and I just prefer the back roads and the highways versus being on the interstate all the time. And in the long run, I know it's going to save me money versus kind of being pushed to drive about 65 or 70. So sticking to those back highways will probably end up saving you on fuel cost. Okay, guys, number six, sticking with driving tips. Use cruise control whenever possible. By setting that cruise control and using that constant speed, you're going to save on fuel economy. Every time you press that gas pedal and constant acceleration, braking and acceleration, even a little bit, you burn more fuel and you're going to burn more money. So whenever possible, go ahead and use that cruise control while not always possible while towing. Most of the time you can get away with it. And in the long run, it's going to save you a good bit of money at the fuel pumps. Okay, moving on. Number five small way you can save on fuel cost is cutting back on that air condition listen we all want to be nice and cool tone in the summertime we, we don't want to be sweating we're not going to sacrifice our ac but there is a little trick that you can do if you're going to use the ac use that recirculate button as much as you can using the recirculate button is actually going to save on fuel cost the ac is not going to be constantly running to try to recool your truck down it's just going to recirculate the air the cool cold air that's already in the truck Try to use that button all summer long. You'll stay cooler and you'll save on fuel cost. Okay, number four on the list, proper inflation of your tires. Having the proper inflation of your tires is going to save on fuel economy. You don't want your tires underinflated, nor do you want them overinflated. Now, I don't want to get into this one too much because we have a whole video on RV tire safety. We break everything down from your truck tire, your camper tires, um, how to find the proper inflation, the tire pressure monitors, how to take care of your tires. We go into depth on that and cover everything you can need to know. So go check that video out. I'll put a link up to it when you're done watching this one. That's a really good video for anybody looking to educate themselves on proper tire safety. Okay, number three on our list. And that's using gas apps to find and search in your area the cheapest fuel prices around. Now, one of our favorites is actually Gas Buddy. We really like this app. We use it all the time. We mainly use it when we're not towing, and that's something I want to get into. Now, we're going to talk about when I'm hitched up and towing, we use the TSD fuel card, and we're going to get to that. That's the number one thing we're going to talk about to save the most money. But a lot of times what we like to do is if we're not hitched up or to save some more money, sometimes we'll fuel up in the morning before we tow or after we get to our destination, we'll fill the truck up. Use the Gas Buddy app, find the cheapest diesel around that's close that we can get into with just light truck without towing and fuel up then. Because even with the TSD card, sometimes going to the truck stops on the interstates are still more expensive. And those prices are usually pretty high, but now with the TSD fuel app, you're going to save a lot of money. But sometimes if you're unhitched, you can even find a cheaper gas station within the city, somewhere you can get to with just the light truck when you're not hooked up to the camper. And by using Gas Buddy, sometimes we like to do that. Search the area, find the cheapest diesel price. You can do diesel, regular gas, lots of different features on this app. It's really nice and we use that one a lot. And that's gonna bring us to number two on the list, which is fuel reward programs. And while the TSD is our number one, before we get into that, Sometimes we like to use other fuel reward programs, some of which are for the car or second vehicle, just for gas. But a lot of times we use grocery points, a lot of grocery stores. We know Ingalls and Kroger's have fuel rewards depending on the location and part of the country in. You can usually find a grocery store that by purchasing groceries and spending money there, it's gonna give you five, 10, anywhere, sometimes up to 20 cents off per gallon, depending on how much money you spend at that grocery store. So we always like to sign up for those fuel rewards. And other gas stations like Parker's and Shell, they have their own fuel reward systems too, where you can sometimes save five or 10 cents off at the pump just by signing up and you know using their fuel rewards. These come in handy in different parts of the country we're in. We always keep the little keychains. We have the different fuel rewards saved. A lot of times you can just use your phone number at the different places, but save a couple extra bucks by using these fuel reward programs that are out there. 
Okay, last up on our list, number one way to save money while traveling in your RV is to apply for a TSD Open Roads Fuel Card. Now, this is a fuel card kind of started originally by a kind of a trucker's program, but they started allowing RVers to use it. And it'll sometimes be referred to as a TSD fuel program by EFS. And what you're going to get is, let me pull it out here. You're going to get a card like this right here, an EFS card. And this is what you're going to actually use at the pumps. You have to use this card at the trucker lanes. You can't use this at a regular gas station, at the diesel pumps. You have to go to the truck lanes. That's why we usually use it when we're towing. But you don't have to be towing. Obviously, you, I just pull up light truck as well to get the fuel rewards. Now, how do you get this card? It's very simple and it doesn't cost anything. It's free. You just apply online and I'm going to have a link below to where to apply and you just fill out the online secure application. It takes about one to three weeks for it to process. Once you get approved, they're going to mail that card I just showed you right to you. Once you have the card, you just set up a PIN number, which I think most of the time is your last four digits or your social security number. Now they do need your social security number when applying. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly safe. This company has been around since like 1980. They like to have a social security number in case for some reason you're not making payment or they can't uh, get the funds from you. It's a way for them to actually track you down. So we have been using this card for exactly, let me see, it's April for exactly two years now. And within two years of traveling, we have saved $555. $555. In two years of traveling. And let me tell you, we don't travel as much as most people. So again, we may make a trip every four or five, six months. You know, we did a little bit more traveling this summer. We definitely don't use the card as say most RVers may. So our $555 worth of savings over two years has been great or most people would probably save even more over that time span. And the savings are usually anywhere from 30 to 40 cents off per gallon. It's going to depend on the gas station. It's going to depend on the contract that TSD has worked out with that gas station. Now, some of the participating gas stations and the two big popular ones that TSD works with is going to be your Love's Fuel Truck Stations and the TA in Petros. Now, they do work with other truck stops. There's also going to be some small mom and pop truck stops that you're going to see in the program as well. Now, to find all of the fuel locations across the United States and what truck stops actually participate, you're going to want to download two apps. One of them is, well, it used to kind of be the EFS app, but now it's uh, Wex Carb Control by EFS. And what you're going to be able to find out here is your instant transactions. As soon as you make a transaction, you're going to be able to go to that app, see how much money you saved, see what the cost was. And the money is drafted out of your bank account, usually within one to three business days. So it's not exactly a credit card. The money will come right out of your bank, whatever routing number you set up with them. You can set up a separate account if that makes you feel more comfortable but the money will come out of there once they apply the discount. And But the app is usually instantly up to date. After I fill up, I can get right back in the truck, open the app, and it's gonna show me exactly how much money it cost, how much I saved. So that's really great. And the other app you're gonna to wanna to get is the TSD Open Roads app. And again, I'll have links to both of these apps, um, where to sign up and all that down in the video description. But the TSD Open Roads app is gonna be a map. You're gonna be able to zoom into an area, see where all the participating truck stops are at. It's gonna have the price listed for the discount that you're gonna get. You can go on and click on those locations, learn more information. You can find what the price is listed for, what your discount will be, locations, directions. It's a really nice app. Um, so definitely you're gonna to wanna to get those two apps when you sign up. And now, by the way, when you guys do sign up, they do have a referral program. So if you guys put my name, Chris Kapperman, into the uh, spot on the application, I actually receive like a $25 discount towards fuel. And you guys would get the same discount if you go ahead and tell your friends about it and so on. So it's a kind of nice little bonus. If you guys are going to go ahead and sign up, just go ahead and pop my name down in the bottom little referral spot. And I appreciate it. Now, I hope these 10 tips and tricks and discounts help you guys out and save some money at the gas pumps this summer. Again, if you're thinking about starting the full-time RV life and you're on the fence because of fuel prices, don't let that deter you. Use some of these tips. Get out there. Save some money. Start your full-time RV adventure because, well, why wait? We'll see you guys next week.